respected uh, chairpersons, um, Dr. Palma Kumar, chairman of the association, and other executive mem members, uh, delegates, ladies and gentlemen, we are, you are going to see something totally different from what you have been seeing already. And uh, this is uh, an endovenous thermal ablation uh, of uh, varicose veins, which I've been doing uh, for the last 14 years. What is varicose veins? Obviously, I don't think uh, I need to elaborate on that. Uh, we have two systems, the superficial and the deep system. The varicose veins, when you say it's of the superficial system, it's a dilated, tortuous veins of the lower limb. Incidence among uh, the Western race is very considerable, 30 to 40 percent. Among Indians, probably around 20 percent. 10 percent more than ladies compared to men. Who suffers mostly? Those who are standing and um, long hours uh, standing, policemen, soldiers, and uh, people like that, security force. And um, what are the complications? That is what bothers uh, us uh, about. One is discoloration, dark, thick skin, heavy feeling, aching, ankle edema, phlebitis, cellulitis. We are much worried about the venous ulcers. That's the most important thing. How to get it, get it healing? Miserable thing to see the venous ulcers. I don't know how many of you have seen miserable ulcers which never heals. Available remedies, auxiliary, this is called the home remedies, probably exercise, compression stockings, known restrictive bandaging, clothing, etc. Sclerotherapy, I'm not, uh, I don't normally recommend the sclerotherapy for veins which are incompetent, perf with uh, incompetent perforators of infemoral incompetence and popliteal incompetence, that's not the treatment at all. I'll tell you where to do the um, sclerotherapy. There is, I'm told there is a center there they do extensively for everything. And um, these, uh, never do the massage when you have phlebitis or thrombus, that will propel. Laser treatment for reticular veins and small spider veins. And uh, other procedures, eye ligation, stripping, as he said, actually, trendle back ligation. Ambulatory phlebectomy for superficial dilated veins. Endoscopic vein surgery, I have also done it, actually, a few cases, about 20 cases in the past. Seps, you know, the perforator below the knee, main three perforators, upper, middle, lower. Lower is the culprit, the lower one. And mechanochemical endoablation, I don't know whether you have heard of it. I don't, if I have time, I'll explain. And now comes the venous uh, thermal ablations using RFA and laser energy. The procedures I do at launch, radio frequency ablation for SF and SP incompetence, obviously only for the major valve incompetence, you do the in, uh, uh, radio frequency ablation, but we can do it for the perforator as well. There is a special catheter for that actually. But I am not practicing it, it is, not, it is a waste of time. But you can keep the perforator, I'll show you how we do it. Bipolar coupling of the incompetent, incompetent perforator. Then sclerotherapy for smaller and medium veins uh, with uh, competent SP and uh, SF valves. Uncompetent perforators, obviously. Sclerophar, residual veins. When you've done all this, you get uh, residual veins, you can do Sclerotherapy, that's the only indication, I suppose. How do we do this? Yeah. This is the RFA generator. That's about 14 lakhs or so. And uh, it's called Venus Closer, uh, American company made. And uh, it's sold by, who is it, Metronics or somebody. It's very cheap, not very expensive. 14 lakhs is very cheap, fairly, today. And this is the catheter, you have 100 centimeter, 
long and 60, 60 is quite sufficient. Uh, the artist used to, you keep an, uh, one of your old uh, uh, a scan, ultrasound scan in the theater. That is what I did actually when I want to change this. I won in the theater all the time. It is not going, you know, one of the old units actually, in a double scan, very convenient. And uh, this is the art of a guide wear and sheet. How you use it, uh, you can uh, see when uh, you see, uh, watch the video. This is the 18 gauge need. It's a very simple procedure. This could be done by technician, you can try. You need not do it at all. Such a simple procedure. This is what I want to highlight. The cost is not... Uh, see, you cannot... Uh, patient need not uh, suffer because we have to survive. That uh, mustn't be at the expense of the patient. Can you show the video, please? Yeah. This is one of my old videos. I took a few recent ones, but uh, that wasn't good enough. Actually, the you can have uh, the radiologist coming uh, with you in the afternoon. Every Thursday we do half a dozen cases minimum every Thursday afternoon from 2 to 8. And it takes hardly half an hour to finish a case. Ten minutes for the procedure. So that's the way you enter. It's an 18 gauge needle, you enter the vein, simple, under ultrasonic uh, guidance. And uh, that, is, that is the um, gateway going in. That's the, over the gateway, you pass the sheet. And uh, through the sheet, you pass uh, the catheter, RFA catheter. It's a very simple procedure. What you do is when you Best the diatomy, you must be three centimeters, that vein, that, that is the superficial epigastric vein. Sometimes your catheter goes into the superficial epigastric vein. You pull back up to the level of uh, the venous in the venous that is shown in the computer usually V. That will be about three centimeters down the saphenofemoral junction to be on the same side to prevent uh, thrombosis uh, problems. Yeah, the whole procedure takes only 20 seconds actually. That's the time taken for one uh, cycle. Takes 20 seconds. Five seconds you achieve 120 degree centigrade and that stays for 15 seconds. And uh, the vein, after all, it's uh, collagen and elastin. It's a protein, it stick together and closes. You can do lower perforator if you have one, you can come down, otherwise one or two cycles, uh, segments will be sufficient. And uh, the, the electrode length is about uh, 7.5 centimeters, so each segment is uh, 7 centimeters, you ablate every time. Two or three segments, suppose you have a middle perforator and thigh, you go below that actually, then the perforator is also closed. It's a very simple procedure. Yeah, we have done about 3,730 procedures total. Unilateral, bilateral, and uh, other dual entry, SP incompetence, perforator clippings, sclero, etc. Yeah, that's the procedures we have done. Yeah, total number of patients, 2,618. Females, uh, 1,366. 10% less uh, male. Uh, 10% less. Varicose veins of lower limbs uh, is common and varicose vein disease existed obviously since uh, man started walking. Yeah. Two systems, I said, superficial deep system. The lower knee perforators most important. You can mark them. It is not difficult. You don't have to uh, like it. Once you see the perforator, you can nicely see, see it. The perforator, if you look at it will be like an artery. It will be thick. And you can use a bipolar forceps. That's the best. And just clip it. That's the end of it. It's very simple procedure. The recurrence in this case is probably less than 3%. In the conventional, it is about 30%. Why uh, RFA is preferred than laser is because laser produces high heat, something like uh, 800 degrees centigrade. That burns. There is no need. Also, it's a thin catheter that goes into the smaller veins. That will not happen here. This is beautifully done. The vein must be not less than 
3.5 centimeter in diameter to this is about 2.5 millimeter 2.5 millimeter not centimeter and um, the anesthesia fumigation the uh, fumigation anesthesia we can give but i don't do, do it we give a unilateral spinal the vein also dilates by 1 to 2 millimeters actually if you give a unilateral spinal so we'll go for some discussion